What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I break down a live motivated seller call that we negotiated terms for. Now, if you're not familiar what terms means is especially in a down market where properties are not flying off the shelf, sellers get motivated to sell the property and get some debt relief. And essentially you can work out where the seller is able to finance your purchase, okay? So in this live call, it's a property where the seller has had the property listed for the longest time. They had a buyer fall through and we were able to agree verbally on 0% interest, 360 uh, you know, months terms for the property. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, make sure you take notes. Let me know in the comments what sort of questions you have um, and what more topics and videos you would like to see from the channel so that we can keep putting out quality content. God bless. Um, yes, it was. Uh, we were a few days from closing and the buyer backed out because they didn't, they somehow thought that they have to pay the higher tax. But that's in our investment property, so we don't have comfort exemption. But for them, you know, they can get it. But just for that reason, well, they backed out. Well, uh, they paid for over the listing price and um, the inspection. There's only minor things like talking. And my husband has addressed all of that. Mm -hmm. So this is a. Uh... Is this like an acreage property? I mean, I'm, I'm trying to look for pictures and uh, it just seems that yes. it's uh, rural. Okay. 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 Is this a manufactured home or? Yeah, it does look like a manufactured home though. Um, and it has solar panels. Solar what, I'm sorry? It says solar fixtures or solar panels. I'm looking at the pictures now. Mm, no, no. We we have the patio cover. Oh. To face yeah, the south so that we can have panels up, you know. It's ready to have solar panels. But we have solar um, gates. We have solar lights. We have a lot of solar devices around the property. Got it. Are you guys living? Are you guys living in the home? No, we are hardly brand new house and it's hardly used. Um, so it's been, <laughs> it's been really excellent. <laughs> okay. When when was the last time? When was the last time y'all did the Airbnb on it? When was when was the last time there was a guest and what what does it rent for? Uh, yeah. Um, we have and they have an Airbnb. So uh, it was rented out for about $150 a night. And um, yeah, and, and, and it's doing really well. I mean, that area and people really like that place um, and uh, we're able to rent at that price. Okay, got it. All right, so what are you needing from this property to sell it? Needing from this property, what do you mean? Yeah, what are what will be the least you take for it as is cash, or are you looking to sell it on payments? Um, yes, we the, one of the one investor did uh, came to us at one eighty. I mean, my my job here, just so you understand, Michelle, is I mean, we we have so many sellers reaching out that. We were only looking to buy five to 10 properties a month and, um, you know, looking to work with sellers that are ready to go um, and see if I can qualify the house for a cash out sale or okay. or uh, agree on a, on, a, on terms. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we can get you your price as long as I can get my terms um, so that we can cash me. <laughs> If that will work for well, both of us. Yeah, we don't really make offers. I, I got to get it in writing from the seller before the funding department allows me to present it. So, Absolutely. you know, a 180, I mean, that's really high from what I can tell for manufactured home. Um, okay. I, don't, I don't see that, that working out. Um, have, have you guys thought about maybe just renting it out or just keeping it on Airbnb since it's such a unique property? We, we did that. We just wanted to um, 
you know, focus on one house and uh, I just don't want to do any more business. We just want to just have. Uh, yeah. 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 And no, I understand. We have a in college now, so it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. um, so. Okay. Well, I mean, if we can get you the 180, are you able to get us the terms that we need so that we can actually make a cash flow as an Airbnb? Sure, sure. My husband, man. Hello. Hey, how are you doing? How are you? Good, good. So my name is Joel, and as I was telling uh, your bride, that my entire job here is to try and qualify the house for a cash out sale. Right now, it's not. It seems to be kind of a unique situation with this property. Really, the only thing I could you know, uh, think about that maybe a win-win is, you know, you guys get the price of 180, which it seems like it's what you're looking to do. And we would need to get the terms that we need so that we can run it as our Airbnb. Um, so essentially a seller finance sale in which you, just, you guys essentially just, you know, sell it on payments. Um, and as long as, you know, we can make that work, we may be able to strike a deal. Yeah, yeah, this type of property. I mean, there's real no no play in it, but but for us to try and cash flow it. So, I mean, if you guys want the mm -hmm. 180, eventually maybe we can get you cashed out completely if we resell in the future. But you know, we would work this as an Airbnb. So, um, you know, getting that 180, um, you know, spread out in payments on 360 payments, you know, that comes out to be about 500 bucks a month. And then, you know, we'll manage the Airbnb. And as long as we can make money, you know, with it as an Airbnb, then I think I can try and convince the funding department to look at the deal. Okay. Um, so what are the terms, the owner financing terms? Do you think, Joe, can you uh, email the terms? And that way uh, I'll be able to remember. Um, yeah, I mean, it's fine. You know, looking at it, you say 180. So that comes out to be 500 bucks a month for 360 months and that way you're done with the property you're no longer a landlord you're just a bank you know um i'm assuming the house is no 500 bucks a month 500 bucks a month for 360 yeah for 360 months yeah i mean that's that would be 30 years yeah i mean if we typically you know uh, we we resell houses about every 10 10 years 10 to 15 years but um with this property being so unique um i'm trying to see if i could get this approved and so we just get it you know we get you the price that you want 180 eventually if we sell it you get cashed out because it, it, everything goes through a title company and gets you know a mortgage gets recorded an owner finance uh mortgage gets recorded and if we sell then you get you know the 180 paid off <clears throat> You don't have to make a decision now, but that's really kind of the only viable option I see. It's kind of a unique property in Fresno, two bedroom, one bath. You know, it's not not necessarily your standard home, so um, right. it's not something that we would buy and flip or or you know, or, if if you want okay. the one eighty, I mean, the the cash offer would be stupidly low, and so my goal is not for you to get low ball. My goal for you is to be able to move on. So. Okay, so we're not sure how that works. So basically, we're the bank, and we'll finance it for thirty years, and then. Um, yeah, everything goes through title company. Um, gets filed at the county. Essentially, we get the property deeded over, just like a bank. You get a deed of trust and a lien. Uh, worst case, well, I mean, we wouldn't want to do this, nor have we. But let's say that we stop paying, you foreclose on it. And that's, I mean, that's pretty much why it's seller finance. It's way more common okay. now. Yeah, it's going to be way more common now in the next probably four to five years as interest rates keep going up and there's just less buyers right. in the market. Yeah, yeah, we would, I mean, we, yeah, we would manage everything through an attorney and through a title company. So, it, yeah, I mean, we would be the owners. So, we would take care of taxes, insurance, uh, title commitment. I mean, it's the same way as any transaction, as if you were going to okay. sell it cash, except the fact that you were able to hold a note, you know, 
a mortgage against the property. And that way, eventually, right. you get paid your 180. Okay. But you will be having... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, just like right now, right now in the county records, the deed is in your name. Right. That's what we would get. We would get the property deeded over. And we would be the owners. Oh, okay. So, so it's a good situation for people that don't want to deal with headaches. Like, they don't, you don't want to deal with tenants. You don't want to deal with managing an Airbnb. You just you yeah. know, want to get... Uh, cash in the yeah, bank. Like, yeah. Yeah. Just uh, on a cruise or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, yeah. Maybe uh, just some information to and send it to our email. Is that? Sure. What sort of um, information do you need? I'm sorry. I said, sure. What sort of information would you need? Oh, just, you know, what you... Yeah, I mean, it's 500 bucks and per month for 360 months. And we get the deed, title insurance, and um, you guys get a deed of trust and a lien. I mean, really, the next step is, if, and again, this is just me seeing kind of like the only viable option. Um, I would need I would need to present it to the funding department once once it's agreed by you guys. So you don't have to make a decision now. Maybe you know uh, we can follow up either next week or something. But that's the only mm -hmm. that's the only way that I see that we would be interested in this type of property. Okay. So um, yeah, um, the uh, the furniture um, we've been going to you know we'll keep uh, pretty almost all of it. Uh, and that way you can, you know, yep. Airbnb right away. Yep. Yeah, that would that would be our plan. Right. Awesome. Well, I guess something I have to think about this and um and the closing costs. Uh, who's paying for that? Can you email all of that to us? Uh, I don't. I don't have your email at hand. But once mm -hmm. once y'all are more sure about it, then we can you know draft an agreement because it needs to get signed before I present it to funding um, to open up escrow. So, uh, uh, so we can um, so the closing cost would you be we are uh, paying for the closing cost? Yeah, we pay all normal closing costs except taxes or liens. I'm assuming the property is paid off, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so we pay all normal okay. closing costs except taxes or liens. I said we pay all normal closing costs except taxes or liens. So Lean. yeah, so if, if it has liens or or property taxes, they get prorated onto the date of closing. All right, we don't have any liens. We have to pay for tax. Okay, and the rest you pay. All yep. Right. Okay. All right, Joe. Uh, I have your information. Is this? The one that you text me to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can call me here. Either me or Pat will answer. Um, and um, yeah, you guys talk about it, kind of sleep on it. Um, and, you know, we can maybe catch up. One question, though. No, no. In this case, in this case, you become the bank. And what we do mm -hmm. is we set up the payments through a payment processor, through a payment uh, servicing company. So you get notified that, you know, you get your payment, that taxes are paid, that insurance is, you know, is in place. Um, and who is this payment processor? We use various vendors. They're just vendors. Um, I need to see which one we're using for that area in Fresno. Um, mm -hmm. But essentially, it's just a middleman. Uh, that services the payment. So they make sure that you get your check and that, you know, we're paying the taxes and the insurance. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah. Yeah. We've never done this before. so we That's okay. Before. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, um, absolutely. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Joe, uh, for reaching out and uh, appreciate your time. Absolutely. Have a good evening. Bye-bye. So as you can see in that video, this person was completely open to owner financing, okay? So as you can see in that video, this person was completely open to owner financing. This is very different <laughs> than other 
uh, months and other times where owner financing was a taboo or like people were just not that open. This is the second call today that they're completely open to seller financing. They want to look into it. So you need to understand what terms are. And this was a 0% interest, 100% seller finance situation. Um, you know, it's it's kind of crazy what you can do when you know the stuff and you can kind of, you know, speak through it as you go. So as you can see, the way that we work these leads, we are allowing them to kind of self-close and just kind of pulling back. If you notice, I pulled back in the negotiation. Um, so that she knows that we're controlling the situation we're trying to control the situation right it's not like oh let me send this like email thread no like this is what it is and it's really not sure because i got to present it to the funding department so i hope that was helpful let me know in the comments what sort of questions you have peace